Hi, welcome to the Google Colab instructions. We're going to talk you through quickly how to set up CodeCam with Google Colab. The first thing you need to do is to log in to Google Colab using the URL shown on the video now. This is a lot easier if you already have a Google account, but if you don't have one, then you can create one at this point. To launch CodeCam, you then click on File, Open, and select the GitHub tab that you can see in the background here and enter the GitHub URL that's being shown to you now. You then choose a notebook to launch. And what that'll do is that'll copy it from GitHub across to your Google Colab account and enable you to start running the Python notebook, which is the code and text that you see in the background. You'll be asked if you trust the notebook, which is a fair enough question as this can run arbitrary code in your account. In this case, since you want to be able to run CodeCamp, you'll need to trust the notebook. Next to each block of code in the notebook is a small arrow or triangle. If you click this, it will actually run the code contained in that cell, the, the area to the right of the arrow. Text doesn't have this option. What this will do is it'll run the code in sequence line by line. Although in theory, you can jump from the top of the notebook to the bottom, in practice, you'll find that you need to step through it cell by code cell by code cell. When you're done for the day, you can save the finished notebook or the partially complete notebook into your own Google Drive and relaunch it from there rather than coming back to GitHub. The advantage of this is that you have a way of saving your work. The binder approach doesn't allow you to do that although it does allow you to skip setting up a Google account. So from here on out, you can just launch the notebook from your own Google Drive. The one thing you have to remember though, is that all of the code that ran before, although the output has been saved, the code is no longer live, meaning that the variables and other things that you've done are not saved when you shut down a notebook. So you will need to rerun the notebook from the start, but, Assuming that you've already saved your work, that means that you can rerun very quickly up to the point where you finished your working last time. You can even select, there's a run all option for each notebook. Good coding.